dramatic body cam video just released from the night one month ago when three LAPD officers were shot during a frightening gun battle with a man they were trying to arrest. Officers quickly realizing one of their own is injured and still inside. Where is he? Get him out. I'm out. I gotta get you out. I gotta get you out. No, you gotta come out. Come here. Three of the injured officers were later released from the hospital with non-life-threatening wounds. But with all those bullets fired you just saw, the result could have been very different. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero live for us tonight in Lincoln Heights with more on that dramatic body camera video. Christian. Michelle, law enforcement agencies in California are required to release this type of video within 45 days of the shooting. Tomorrow will mark one month. Tonight, the LAPD has released footage from the hours-long standoff that came down to a few crucial moments. It started in daylight. The LAPD says officers saw a man in Lincoln Heights who they recognized as a parolee at large. That man was later identified as 32-year-old Jonathan Magana. He was in this apartment building under construction when officers tried to get him out. If you don't, a police canine will be used. Still no response. So they made their way in, first using beanbags. Consider their options. Before throwing chemical irritants at him. In the haze, they saw slow movements. Then heard a sudden noise. I've been hit. I've been hit. Two of the officers who were shot were able to run out. But they were missing one, so some went back in and followed the voice. I gotta get you out. I gotta get you out. No, you gotta come out. Gas mask still on. This officer's colleagues pulled him to safety. All three who were hit were taken to the hospital and recovered. Magana did not. Shortly after the shootout, a SWAT team deployed a robot, and when he appeared to be unresponsive, the LAPD re-entered. Okay, let's move up and take him into custody. And the LAFD confirmed he died at the scene. The LAPD says it recovered a high-capacity magazine and two semi-automatic pistols, including one ghost gun. Their internal investigation into who shot Magana and whether it was justified will likely take months. Uh, the Civilian Oversight Board will ultimately have the final say. We're live tonight in Lincoln Heights. I'm Christiane Cordero, ABC7.